I have to get a most high hand, brother. First of all, let me <laughs> let me get a most high hand because to see that brother come up here and speak so powerful, and I know it's not that brother, it's the most high in him. Because I remember when he couldn't go through this Bible. To let you know it's the Holy Spirit that gives utterance and understanding, and he's no different than any of you out there. We were all on the other side at one point. But like the brother just mentioned, we linked into that bond. Brothers and sisters, what we're going to bring out here to you today, you will not hear in your mainstream churches. You will not hear on your news, on your news programs. You're going to find that that generation of Christ spoke that would not pass, we're in that generation. Everything that, the, that Christ spoke would happen, have happened, and we're at the tail end and getting prepared for his coming. This place is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, and it has taught us individualism, and it taught us how not to love. It taught us to love ourselves and not love according to the Bible. Go to St. John 15. I'm going to pick up where the brother left off. Here's another thing. We are taught that love is an emotion. I love my wife. Or I love my husband. Or I love my children. But guess what folks, according to the Most High, love is not an emotion. Love is an action. It's not an emotion. Anybody can say, I love you. Love is an action. And sometimes you hear somebody say, well, I love you, and then you ask them back. Well, why you treat me wrong? You telling me you love me is not showing you love me. So we have to understand we're not being taught what love means in this society. That's why we're living in a backward society filled with hate. Filled with hate. Because we're taught to love ourselves and hate everything outside of ourselves. And that's the image of the beast. It's individualism. It's capitalism. It's the system we live in today to teach you to love yourself and don't care about what's going on on the outside of you. While the whole earth is deteriorating before you. Well, I only love my house. I'm going to deal with my house. And while you're loving your house, guess what? And not loving your neighbor? What's going on in your neighbor's house will affect your house because your children got to come outside. So while you're dealing with yourself, and not dealing with your whole nation. You're going to find out that God's people have been taught to hate each other. And that's the biggest disease amongst our people. No way are people that have went, went through so much hell, captivity, slavery, degradation. No way are people so low and have been, been treated so bad, they continue to be taught, be, be, be treated so bad. No way these people should be hating each other right now. Stop hating each other and find out why we're in this condition. So we're going to go into what is love according to the Bible. If we as a people went into these scriptures and find out what love was, brothers wouldn't shoot each other in the head, man. Brothers would not sell drugs to each other and kill your own people. Brothers and sisters would love each other and respect each other. Parents would love their children and raise their children righteously. We say we love our children, but yet we let the television raise our children. We let the streets raise our children. We let the video games love our children. You know what? We hate our children. You say you love your brother, but yet you will shoot your brother in the head. You will sell your own people drugs. You would have children and leave them out there to be destroyed by Satan. We've been taught to love ourselves and hate the Most High in our brothers. And you know what? 
Sooner or later, that hate comes back on you. And then you get mad at the world, and then you, you fail to realize that everything that's on you came on you because of yourself. Because if you don't love others, you don't love yourself. That's what Christ was trying to show. Why would someone want to crucify and berate a man that walked and did no wrong? Why? Think about that for a second. Christ came to this earth and did nothing wrong. But they hated him. They spit it on him. They wanted to slap him. They wanted to call him a devil. Why? Because he was showing how to love and this whole earth was filled with hate. It was too, love, too much love for this world. The same way when we come out and teach truth and love, even though it may be in our own lives, people may walk up and down and hate us because we're teaching truth. Because we're not going to lie to you like the preachers do on your pulpit and tell you everything is going to be all right and we're living in a world of hate. Singing and dancing all up in the church talking about love, love, love. As soon as you go outside the church, you're ducking bullets. We're not here to sell you a dream, man. This love starts within ourselves. That's what St. John 15. Start at the 11th verse. St. John 15 and 11. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be, be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. So this is a commandment from, from Christ, that we love one another, like Christ loved us. That we love one another, man. Treat brothers and sisters the way you want to be treated. That's all. We, but we're not living in a society like that. Our society teaches you how to do what? Get more than your brother. To live better than your brother. This society breeds what? Jealousy? Hatred? Envy? Man, you see that nice car she got? She thinks she's better than everybody else. See that boyfriend she got? It teaches you individualism. It teaches you to, to, to make yourself a God and then everyone else. When Christ, when he was on the earth, he made himself a blow reputation. He wasn't, he wasn't challenging the other people that were teaching. He wasn't challenging them by how he dressed and what type of car he, he drove, I mean, or, or what type of carriage or chariot back then he had. Like your pastors do today. You think because you got the biggest churches, and your biggest congregation, you driving the biggest cars, you think the most cars looking at you is holy? Huh? You are hating Christ's people. Because Christ wouldn't have a big car if he was living a day. He wouldn't have a big house. And he definitely wouldn't have a big congregation. Why? Yeah. Because Christ told the people the truth. Really? Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Lay down your life for your own friends. That's real love. That's what, that's what Christ did. That's real love. Now, I see brothers in blood and crypts. They'll lay down their lives for their brother to do evil in a game. You'll make a blood pact with your brother to do wickedness. But how many of you would stand up for truth and die because of truth? Martin Luther King did. Malcolm X did. And guess what? Our big brother, Jesus Christ, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, just shot him. He did it, man. He did it. I see a lot of brothers out here that I grew up with, man, all up in our neighborhoods. You know what? They will make an agreement with Satan and put their life on the line to sell drugs, man, to shoot their own brothers. They'll go on the corner knowing that a brother just got shot on the corner the week before. They will give their life for Satan, but how many will lay down their lives for their people? We are a people of no honor, man. No integrity. We've been taught to hate ourselves and you would...